Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to print your own care and safety sheets and I print these out just slightly bigger than my business cards and I have some smaller and some larger sizes and these are to fit in my clear self-seal bags. I've got a couple of different sizes of these bags, I will link them in the description below. These have a strip here which you peel away to reveal a sticky strip and then you just simply fold over the top to seal the bag up. These come in a variety of sizes from very small to very large if you want to bag up loads of bows together. But the two sizes I mainly use are 12 by 15 centimeters and these 16 by 19 centimeters. So these are the smaller ones. These are ideal for individual bows up to five inches or two smaller bows. So for example, I've got this snap clip here. I pop in a business card, my care and safety sheet and my bow find the opening of the bag and you want to pop your bows in there facing upwards so that this sticky tab side is at the top. Slide the bow in, peel off the outer strip and then fold it over and I would stick that down. And as you can see, they look really nice packaged in there. You don't even really need the business card. That is optional because you can print all of your details on your care sheet that you print yourself. And also with this, there is no need for the extra expense of those bow cards that people buy. I'm going to pop a link here now. And this is a tutorial on how I package my bows before I mail them off. So let me now show you how I design and print my own care safety cards. The app I use for this is Canva. I will pop a link for this in the description below. As you can see, I use this for all my YouTube thumbnails and all sorts. And across the top here, you've got all your different templates for Facebook posts, Instagram posts, etc. Now, I use A4 paper when I print, so I'm going to search at the top here for A4 document, which is there. And then you've got these preloaded templates or blank. I'm going to select the blank template. It always comes up with this to begin with, where you can select templates or add your things at the bottom, or you can just drag the little dash line at the top down and that will get rid of that and you can see here your blank page. Now to begin with my care safety sheet I want to add my logo first of all so pressing this plus sign at the bottom here and then across the bottom you can then see all different options you want to select camera and I've got my logo from my camera roll and I've added it to my page. If you drag the corner you can make it bigger or smaller I'm going to start off quite large. I'm going to centralise it. As you can see, that pink line comes up to show you it's central. And then focusing now back down to the bottom, you've got all these options here, or the plus sign. Press on the plus sign. And then we want to add text. So scrolling across the bottom, you can see the text option. We want to add a heading to begin with. So add a heading. And as you can see, it's nice and bold. And we're going to just press on the little line at the side here. And then you can drag this box wider so you can get more on the line. And then we're going to centralize it and then edit this and give it our heading. Hair accessories, care and safety. I don't really type this fast, so I've sped this bit up. <laughs> and as you can see, it's quite big. It doesn't all fit in the line. So again, I'm going to drag out the side just so I can fit it all in and then drag on the corner to make it smaller and then centralize it underneath my logo. So just keep dragging it until that pink line comes up. Now it's automatically come up in black. I would like it a different color. So making sure it's highlighted across the bottom, I'm going to select color. And then if I scroll up, I can find my logo here and it's taken some colors from my logo and I'm going to pick the nice purple. And I would also like to give this an underline. So making sure it's highlighted, scroll across the bottom and choose format. And then select underline. And as you can see, it's automatically underlined in the matching purple color. So we've now got our title. And next we're going to press the plus sign again and we're going to add a subheading. So pressing add a subheading, as you can see, it's not so bold as the title. Again, click on it and then we're going to edit this and we're going to add the body of our text, which is our hair accessories, care and safety information. 
So the first thing I like to add on my care sheet is to not pinch the bow loops when you're opening the clip because I hate to see my beautiful bows all flattened. And then I'm just going to make this smaller and wider to fit this all in. Drag it back up and centralize it. And then continue typing. So the next thing I like to add, and I like to leave a gap in between, is to not machine wash your hair bow because obviously it could break. The next thing I'm going to add is if you do want to clean it, just to wipe it using a clean, soft, slightly damp cloth if needed. I'm just going to make that eye a capital at the start. And then again, miss a gap for my next piece. And this is quite important, this comes under safety. Hair accessories may contain small parts and elastic that may pose a choking hazard. This is very important to put this on your care and safety sheet. And then the last thing I like to add is to never leave babies or children unattended with hair accessories. And once you're happy with those instructions, you can then make them bigger, smaller, space them out how you would like them spaced between the title. You can also add, if you want, at the bottom, you can add your Facebook information, your phone number, your contact details, so you won't need a business card. You can add anything else you would like. I also am going to add a frame around mine. I just like to add a frame just to give it a little extra touch. So pressing the plus sign again at the bottom here and I'm going to scroll across the bottom to elements and we're going to add a square shape. This has all automatically come up in purple. So I'm going to select color and I'm going to change this to a lovely bright pink color. Again, selecting that from my logo and then I'm going to drag it up to the corner and then drag the corner out to enlarge it as wide as my text and then drag it down to cover the page. And then at the bottom, you want to scroll across and find position. And then we want to send this backwards or all the way to the back. So I'm gonna to press to back. So it's all the way behind all of my text. And as you can see, it's a bit long. So I'm just going to now move the sides out and the bottom I can move up so it's in line with my text. And now we have just got basically a pink background. So I'm going to just scroll this bottom piece off and at the bottom I'm going to find duplicate. So I've now got two of these pink squares and I'm going to change the color of this top square now to white. And then again, I'm going to find position and we want to send this backwards. So I'm going to keep pressing backwards till all of my text is now at the front, but I'm not going to send it all the way to the back because I don't want it behind the pink. So now we can see all of our text and we are going to drag in the corners to create our thin border frame. This is how I create my frames. Once you are happy with the layout and everything is all lined up in the middle of the frame, you then want to press and hold on one of your elements and then at the bottom you can see here select multiple and a one comes up and now I'm pressing on all of my elements so my heading, my backgrounds, my frames, my main body of text, I'm highlighting every single element. Once you've got all of the elements highlighted you can then select group which is next to that at the bottom there and then you can resize everything together. So I'm dragging the corner, resized it to just a little bit bigger than a business card, bearing in mind this is an A4 document, so you can roughly get an idea of the size. I usually fit around six of these on my page. So once you're happy with the size, again, highlight everything, and then at the bottom you can select duplicate, and then you can line this up. You want to leave a little bit of white in the middle, ready for when you cut these out. Duplicate another one, and then a fourth one. This one I'm going to put up the top here, line it up, again leaving a little white gap in between. And then duplicate another two on there, and just line these all up. And then these will be ready to print 
and cut out. Now you can print these all out one size. You can do some smaller for smaller bows, some bigger to fit in your bigger bags. But I find that this size is usually a nice size to pop in with my bows. To save your image, press the arrow at the top here and then save image. And that will then save to your camera roll. And then going over to my camera roll, selecting my image, press the arrow at the bottom here. And then this will bring a menu up and then you need to scroll down till you see print and then select print and then you just need to make sure that your page is set to A4 and all your printer settings are on the correct settings. So I'm just showing you here, this is the actual one that I use, this is what it looks like. I've added my Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest at the bottom and then if I scroll out you can see what they look like for size. And here they are cut out. So if I put them together on my table here, you can see the gap in the middle. And then I've just cut in between the gaps and left a little bit of a white border around the pink border. And that just gives a really nice finish. And there's your finished care and safety sheets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below. Bye.